what a wondrous harvest! The lychees are so plentiful and large this year. Such a fragrant scent. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty, I finished cataloging the summer scrolls. All 672 of them. Very good, very good. I have one last rule for you to read. Yes, Your Majesty? I decree that tomorrow we shall have a special harvest celebration to thank the villagers on their superb and hard work. Food and games for everyone. I'm on my way. Along the way. Very funny. Nice one, Dongwa. Better get those legs back to the turtle you borrowed them from. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can win anytime I want. Anytime Sagwa doesn't race you, maybe. <laughs> Come on, don't listen to them. I've been practicing a lot lately. That's all. The village will rejoice over this harvest celebration. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard so. Celebration means lots and lots of food and games. Who cares? You will. Nai Nai always organizes one of her races. Maybe you'll beat me then. Ah. I said maybe. Well, gotta get practicing. First place, here I come. First place, huh? Not if I can help it. To express his gratitude and thanks, the Magistrate has declared that tomorrow, the entire village is to honor this year's harvest with a celebration! Yeah! Let the preparations begin! It will be nice to see even you having some fun. Fun, your Magistrate? Me? Sogwa! Hey, Sogwa! Over here! Hmm? What are you doing? I'm practicing my balance for tomorrow's race. What's balancing have to do with running? It helps you concentrate. And everyone knows concentration is the key to winning. Huh? Hmm, yeah. You should really give it a try. I just did it for three hours straight. As long as you can. <laughs> Where's Sogwa? It's dinner time. I bet she's still out there practicing for my race. Why, when I was her age, I was the fastest cat in the entire village. And how did I get so fast? Practice, practice, practice. That's right. Practice and a good night's sleep. You can't race without rest. Sogwa, what happened to you? I fell off a stone in the pond. And why exactly were you in the pond? Donghua said keeping my balance would help me concentrate for tomorrow's race. Donghua, what are you up to? Nothing. It's not my fault she fell in the water. Hmm. Hmm. He can't race without rest, huh? I can't wait. 
right. I know I'm going to win today. Just concentrate on enjoying the race, Sagwa. Then you will have already won. Obviously, someone didn't get enough sleep last night. I don't know where to start. All this sumptuous food and such marvelous games. Do you see that? Catching seven pieces. It's one of my favorite games. I think you'd be great at it. But, sir, I'm really not... Ah, go on. It'll be such fun. Hey, cats, here are the rules. The race is around the outlying streets of the village. No cutting across any other streets. And the first one back at the starting point is the winner. Everybody to their positions. On your mark, ready, set, go! Hey! You were right. You aren't very good at catching seven pieces. Except perhaps with your head. <laughs> Sorry, Your Magistrate. Ah, oh, never mind. It's time for the pickup race. Oh. Sagu gonna beat me. No cutting across any other streets. She's not embarrassing me in front of those alley cats again. There's always another game. Another game? Here they come! Go, cats! Go! I did it! I did it! I'm the fastest cat in the village! Wow! I didn't think he'd actually beat you, Sagwa. Dongwa wins the race! Nice going, Dongwa. You showed her. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks, Licklick. What's the matter with her? Sore loser? Uh, yeah. So, who's faster now? You cheated. I would have won if you hadn't pushed me. I didn't push you. You knocked into me. Look, I won. Fine, you won. But I'm faster. You cannot compete with the villagers. It is below you. But my worried willow, I want to have some fun. <sighs> Your Magistrate, I really should apologize. Apologize? For what? All day, Ready? all I do is lose. Set. I have brought you shame. That is ridiculous. Oh. I don't care about losing or winning. I only wanted you to have a little fun. Really? Really. So, what are we waiting for? Oh, it's you. Close your eyes, okay? Another trick? I don't think so. Just do it. Hmm. Oh, you're the winner. You beat me. What are you talking about? Look, I, I didn't really win, okay? You were right, I cheated. Winning felt great at first. 
And then it didn't feel so great because I knew I didn't really win. Wow. And I realized how much I'd hate it if someone did that to me. What about the alley cats? I told them. They weren't too happy about it. I bet it was really hard telling everyone what you did. It was. But it felt a lot worse pretending I had won. So, what do you say to a little rematch? Ha! Anytime! <laughs> it is time for everyone to sample some of the finest food in all of China. <laughs> Finally. calling at the palace gate. They say they can make robes out of extraordinary silk and satin. Send them away. I have no interest in new clothes. Wait! <laughs> but my dear, it has been a long time since you had new robes. And of course, you must keep up your image. Hmm. Bring in the tailors. Your Majesty. We have discovered how to weave a magical new cloth. Really? What's so magical about it? Well, Your Grace, the colors and patterns of this cloth are extremely beautiful. But the most magical quality they possess is that of being invisible. Invisible? Reader, show these men out. Of all the idiotic things I've Oh, Your ever... Grace, one more moment. Please, let me explain. You see, the cloth is only invisible to someone who is foolish. Oh. You know, my darling, something like this could really come in handy. It most certainly could, my delectable Domiao. If I had my robes cut from this material, I would be able to tell from their reaction which one of my subjects are honest and smart and which are foolish. It's brilliant. Read up! Give my Imperial Tailors whatever they need. <laughs> Can you believe it? Two thousand gold coins! Shh! Quiet. We must get to work. <laughs> the it's really all so exciting, my dear. Your exquisite new robes are the talk of the town. But when do you think we will get to see the magical cloth? Soon, dear, soon. But if you're so anxious, why don't you go down to the weaving room and have a look for yourself? Well, I would. But I am afraid that... <laughs> that you wouldn't be able to see the cloth? Are you suggesting that I am foolish? Oh, no, my sweetness. Not at all. No. What I was saying was, uh, well, I'm much too busy to go down there. Yes, that's it. So, I will send somebody else. Rita! <laughs> Oh, isn't this cloth beautiful? Yes. How do you like it so far? Well, um, it's very beautiful. Yes, of course. Very beautiful indeed. Why, I've never seen such exquisite cloth. It's quite, uh, uh, quite indescribable. Would you like to touch it? Yes. We'd love for you to feel the extraordinary delicacy of this cloth. But you must be very careful. These silken threads are exceptionally delicate. Are your hands clean? Well, uh, I, I think I... Uh... After all, one speck of dirt oil, and we shall have to completely start over. My, my. Wouldn't your magistrate be beside himself if that happened? Um, well, no thank you then. I don't need to touch it. 
Just seeing it has been quite enough for one day. Yes, quite enough. But I saw nothing. I must be a fool. Well? How does it look? Is it simply gorgeous? Well, mm, well, it's hard to describe. It's so, so... Out well, with it, man! It's amazing, Your Grace. I've never seen anything like it before. Ever! How simply marvelous! Oh! But I saw nothing. Am I a fool? What wonderful news! Yes, the new fabric is stupendous. You know, dear, I think I will go and see your beautiful new robes while they are still in progress. Absolutely, please do. for the most exquisite robes you have ever seen. <gasps> I am so worried. Everyone has been able to see the cloth. I guess there are no fools in my palace. Oh, but Sakura, the question is, will I be able to see the robes? I really don't know why he's so worried. If everybody else has seen the fabric, why shouldn't he? Maybe he's afraid he's a fool. Dongwa, please. He is our master. Mama, Papa, I have something to tell you. What is it, Sagwa? Yes, Sagwa. What's wrong? Well, you see, I'm afraid that I'm the one who's a fool. Sogwa, why would you say that? Because I've looked into that weaving room a whole bunch of times, and I can never see any cloth on those looms. Oh, well, there you have it, straight from the cat's mouth. Dongwa! Something is wrong here. Yes, very wrong. Our Sogwa is no fool, that's for sure. Perhaps we should take a closer look ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> <gasps> this is certainly the life. Ah, yes. I'll be sad when we have to move on to the next sucker. Er, um, palace? This is, by far, the nicest place we've ever been. And I've never seen so many people trying not to look foolish. Oh, dear. This is terrible. Are we all fools? Don't be silly, Shigwa. These guys are cheaters. I wish there was something we could do. I'm the only one who can't see the robes. I must be the only fool here. How oh, ironic. Well, Your Grace, do you like the robes? Yes, Your Grace. Have we met your wildest expectations? Why, yes, you have. I am absolutely speechless. Well, in that case, let's try them on. It's true. I am a fool. I must be the only one. These new robes are the most exquisite ever before made. To commemorate this extraordinary occasion, I hereby commission one of my cats to paint a new portrait of me in these spectacular new robes. 
At least I will then know what they look like. Sagwa? Ah, oh, Sagwa, you are such a wonderful artist. Will you paint my portrait? Mama, Baba, what should I do? Just paint what you see. Yes, Sagwa, be honest. Now's your chance to help the Magistrate, just like you wanted. Well, okay. Here goes. I can't believe it, dear. And we always thought Sagwa was so smart. Clearly, she is a fool. Well, if Sagwa is a fool, then I must be one too, for I cannot see the cloth either. Your Excellency, I am also a fool. My dear, I'm afraid that I also must confess that I am a... Relax! All of you, don't you see? Sagwa is painted the truth. There are no robes. There is no magical cloth. We have been played like an Arhu. Read up. Cats, take down my new rule. Let it be hereby decreed that any person or persons who try to deceive anybody in this court or in this village shall be fined. Shall be fined. Rita, how much did we pay these men? Two thousand gold coins, your magistrate. Well then. Anybody who deceives shall be fined 2,000 gold coins. And one more thing. Can you really weave and sew? Yes, Your Grace. Marvelous. In that case, I hereby decree that you make new robes for everyone in the palace, <laughs> including my fine cats. Yes, Your Grace. Now let's see who is the fool. <laughs> Rita, collect the fine from those two tailors, and then escort them back to their weaving room so they can get right to work. It is funny, isn't it? We were all so afraid of looking foolish that we refused to believe what we saw. Or in this case, what we didn't see. To think it took a kitten to show us the truth. So here's to Sagwa of China! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.